<laughs> we're back in business. <laughs> we're here. We got a one, two, three, four, five. Good evening, everybody. I feel that I'm, I'm always so jumping up with energy. And tonight, because I got a cold and I have asthma, I feel that I have to measure my energy. But I'm here. I'm so glad to be back. Uh, what day is today? Friday. Friday? Tenth. What? December 10th, 2010, <laughs> and we are going live as always and streaming live. I want to thank my sponsors, D'Amico's, the best Italian specialties, Madonia Brothers Bakery. I love the breadsticks. Go to the Bronx once a week, and guys, it's killing me. <laughs> but I, I got to do what I got to do, okay? <laughs> Hi to my girls. Your health, and I'm wearing Katerina Nankova. Beautiful skirt. <laughs> We're going to get a skirt after. We don't have to do it now because, we, you know, I have to introduce the show. Uh, but tonight, pretty much, we have a very special guest, a very, very smart creator, a filmmaker, a director, Screenwriter Chris Frieri. I got it right, Chris? You got it right. <laughs> Sweet Lorraine is the movie that we're going to be talking about. I seen it last night. I met Chris. How long ago, Chris? Oh, we've been together a couple of months. A couple of months. George Santana. George Santana. She brought us together. Hi to my boy. I yeah, haven't seen yeah. George. We miss you guys. He's a little under the weather himself. Yeah. I haven't seen him in a long time, but we love you. We miss you, George. He'll be back soon. He'll be back soon. Um, and we hit it off right away. And uh, pretty much I had the, the, the opportunity to see the film last night. And I got to tell you, Chris, and you know I'm picky, right? It's true. I know that about you. Okay. Um, and I've seen the film in... The first thing that came to my mind was how clever was the writing. And when you came here <laughs> an hour ago and we were having our goodies with all my crew, okay, <laughs> Melissa Gray and Quelly Washington on cameras tonight, thank you for coming and helping. I said to you, Chris, the writing, the writing. So I want to talk about That's your writing. I want to talk about to perfect it. <laughs> Well, the ABCs, <laughs> how you make a movie, how you made this happen. Where going do I back. Start, where do I start on this one, to Sissy? I don't know. Chris, going back in time, <laughs> like when you put it together, when you have it in your head, what did you were thinking? Like, like what, what was in your mind, like the mental process, if you can remember? Well, really, you know, I was just uh, really going along making films, um, like amateur films and Super 8 and 16 millimeter films. Uh -huh. And at some point, I met uh, through a friend, we, I met a, um, a film producer, a Broadway producer, Frederick Zolo. Uh -huh. And uh, we got to know each other, and uh, over time, uh, he suggested to me that we make a, you know, a real film together, a you know, Hollywood film. Uh -huh. And uh, so he said that. I maybe I started writing it a, a year later. You were afraid when you started writing it? No, no, not in the slightest. No, I'd, I'd, I'd been working at it for quite some time, really. Uh -huh. uh, I was happy to do it. I didn't think it was, would take uh, the entire decade, but uh, right. we managed to prolong it. <laughs> because films take time to get they done. Time. They say the, the second one shouldn't take as long. Right. But this one took really getting on. April will be uh, nine years of it. That's a lot. But from what I started writing in uh, April 2002, mm -hmm. and we shot it in um, October, November of 2009. Mm -hmm. And then the 2010 is a whole other uh, mm -hmm. post-production story. And do you keep diaries, Chris, when you were writing <laughs> it? No? I mean, how obsessed are you with your own work? Do you get obsessed like, ah? Yeah, well, I'm, you know, I'm very single-minded like that. Uh -huh. I don't like to write too much down. I don't keep a diary. I mean, sporadically, but not during this thing. I have a bunch of things scribbled. You know, I have notebooks uh -huh. that I've scribbled in, but, uh, you know, it's nothing too deep in there. <laughs> and what about casting the actors? Tatum, 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 Tatum O'Neill. Tatum. Tatum O'Neill. Well, that was our lucky the Oscar day. Oscar winner actor. She's <laughs> in the film. Stephen Bauer. Right? Great man. Chris, what's his name again? Peter the Green. other guy, Peter Green, boy, he did a great job. He did a great job. He's very relaxed in front of yeah. the camera, that guy. Yeah, he was really good, a real pleasure to work with. Yeah. And he, um, they, these guys, they really, you know, Tatum was a different story. We got her kind of late. I mean, they all came in kind of late, come to think of it. But um, uh, Peter, uh, his, his agent saw the script, and Peter read it, and he really liked the script. Uh -huh. So he came with us. So we were really, really lucky to get him because he's working uh, 
I think he made seven or eight films that year or something, so Constantly. he's working all the time. So he yeah. took it on that strength of that. Uh -huh. And same thing with Steven, too. Uh, you know, these guys only got on board really several days before we started shooting. I think we started shooting on a Sunday, and I don't think Steven signed up until Thursday. Oh, wow. What about the reading? We had one, one reading on the Friday night. Uh huh. You started shooting on what, Monday? Started shooting on a Sunday, not a Sunday. Sunday. Sunday morning. Fast. And that was no it. No rehearsals. So that was it, one table reading. Look at that, guys. We're talking about magic. And that wasn't even with the whole cast. And, not even uh, with the whole cast. They were, uh, we were reading it and uh, going along with it, and no one uh, found it particularly funny that at some point somebody said something and everybody at the table laughed, and then it was a laugh fest the rest of the way. So okay. Yeah, because I, I laugh a lot. I was sitting last night, and I said, you are neurotic, Chris. <laughs> yeah. I was watching the you film. You don't even know me that well, though, huh? And I was watching. <laughs> you haven't seen anything. I mean, Chris, I was watching the film, and I said, this guy's smart, he's clever, he's witty, he's quick, <laughs> you're fast, okay? So I, I get up and take a bow. I get up and take a bow. Oh, you get welcome. <laughs> I know how to pay compliments. I know how to do it. It's just some very music to my ears. Yeah, see. yeah. And, and, I've listened and, to this all day. And I tell you, I enjoyed it so much because I, I, I figure... I know. I want to know. I want to believe that it was very difficult to make this film happen. I want to hear about the obstacles. Well, it took some time. It took, it took some time to do. I mean, some but like, like, there's a lot of know, personalities involved with it. And, uh, well, there's a lot of personalities here, too, <laughs> when you walk in. <laughs> You're the it's, main personality here, though. It's all very, uh, man, everybody it's is very like, clear how, who's at the top of the we, food chain around here. How we can get stressed out. <laughs> we get stressed out so easy because, it's, you know, it's about, you know, keeping yourself in control. And yeah. you have a team. It's the same yeah, with you. I was you. fortunate. I had, I had good people with me. And really, the crew and, and the actors, they made the whole thing happen. Uh, I mean, I'd, once the shoot started, I had to watch what was going on mm -hmm. and say cut and maybe suggest this or that. But it was not uh, anything I hadn't done before. So, um, in terms you know. of direction, you're very... Let me, let me take oh. this out of your suit. Hold on. Oh, please. Okay. okay. In terms of direction, Chris, you're very accurate. You're very simple. You keep it simple for the actors, right? Kept it simple for the actors. That's really helpful. Well, they, uh, you know, that's what they do. And uh, right. I, um, uh, often I, I was really impressed by all of the actors. Most of them, they all really uh, took the stuff and did something really kind of even better than, than it was written in my head anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so I let them, uh, let them do it. And until they're not doing it right and I uh, have a problem with it and then so you give them room it. to create. Give them room to create, yeah. They all How much improvisation was involved? Not uh, much. Not too much, just a little bit, really. Peter was up Who for that. Who liked to improvise there? Yeah, Who Peter, was Peter? And, and Tatum more. There uh -huh. were some improvised scenes. Um, the scene when he picks up the, uh, the working girl. Peter. Yes. That was... Um, I love the scene when they're around. on the table. They don't have it because I, I have to get the right time code. It was no time to get a scene of the film tonight, but we're going to show a trailer. In a little while, not yet, Jabari in the control room and Ginger, not quite yet. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the scene that they have, Tatum O'Neill and uh, Chris and Stephen Bauer on the table. Remember that scene? Oh, when they have uh, Peter. Uh, what, uh, oh, when they're sitting around the table at the restaurant. Yes. Oh, sure, sure. I love that scene. Oh, and the so scene that they have with George Santana. Uh, that yeah, was a pretty a really good, good scene. scene. Yeah, that's really well cut, too. It was well covered. It was on really that. well done. That mm -hmm. scene was like, oh, my God, look at this. Yeah, we shot that under the uh, available light, too. It was this fluorescent light, like the blue scene. When you look at it, the uh, uh -huh. this thing has, whole thing has a blue tint to it. Look at you, how you look you in front. Look at yourself. Look at, look at that monitor, Chris, for a moment. <laughs> Just enjoy yourself. It looks suntanned. It, it looks nice. <laughs> it looks beautiful. You look very British. You remind me a little bit of Alan Cunning. Uh, the British actor, when he was young, I'm, I'm giving you a big compliment. Okay, and all these great actors. I love British actors. I do. <laughs> I, do. I, I told you, I love Benny Hill is one of my... Uh... Benny Hill? With all the girls, Chris, come on, you got to be kidding me. I'm talking about the big shots, Anthony Hopkins, John Gilger, Alec Guinness, all these Benny great Hill's actors. Benny not in their league, you're saying? Well, I, I thought mean, he was famous. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's so, how you keep, I wanted to ask you, how you keep it clear, because we were talking when we had dinner last, not, not last night, the night before, The Woody Allen, one of my favorite filmmakers, he says that it's three kinds of movies, right? The one that you have in your head, the idea, the concept, mm -hmm. the one that you write, and the last one is the cut, the last cut. 
is very three, three very distinctly different things very di in this yes. case for certain. Yes. How close? I wanted to ask you, and thank God I didn't forget. How close was this film from what you have right here in your mind? It's close. It's just really uh, things were, were cut along the way. We, we, you know, there was just th things that were left out of it. Uh -huh. But the intentions of it and like the story itself, this, nothing was really lost of the story. Uh -huh. Really, there came a point in the film we only had uh, six days left to shoot, six days of uh, money left to, to work with. Oh, but God. I looked at on the, on the, the script, we still had eight days worth of shooting to do. So I think we cut about 12 uh, scenes out of it. Uh -huh. 12 scenes? It was scenes? the fat. It was do the you fat. have those scenes? I would like to see them. Well, they're on paper. They're written, but they're not. Uh, they, we never shot them. Oh, I see. I thought it was the ones that you don't get to see. No, no, know. it wasn't like that. They just never were shot. So we had to cut all over the place and kind of make the adjustments from uh -huh. there as far as the transition goes. I said the, um, but it was, the, the script was written in such a way where you had enough characters to cut between. Uh -huh. It wasn't too inconvenient for you to... What makes you know. a good filmmaker, Chris, in your opinion? <laughs> what, 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 what's the key? Like, what makes a great movie? I'm trying a to great figure story? it out. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, there's no secrets, honestly. You can have the greatest cast... And it doesn't mean that the movie is going to be the greatest movie ever done. That's am true. I right or am I right, guys? I mean, it's <laughs> no... I, I've seen her a million times. You see all these oh, sure, sure. great movie stars, and the movie goes right down the trail. No chemistry. No chemistry. No magic. Right? So, I mean, how... I mean, what makes a great film? What makes well, a great I think this, director? If this, one's, if this one is any, uh, you know, if, uh, any indication of, of greatness, I don't know, but um, the... Uh, the, the, the cast was very dedicated to it, uh -huh. and the people with they believe in the project. They believed in it, right. I think, really deeply, and and the um, you know they worked on it. They were ready to work through all. You know the conditions weren't great out there. There was hardships, you know, right. and it was a lot of you know it was long hours and uh, you know very low pay for everyone. Okay, guys, let me explain that to you for people who don't know what we're talking about because some people they're not actors out there. Actors, musicians, writers, playwrights, directors, filmmakers, photographers. Can I keep going? Guys, <laughs> it's such a big struggle <laughs> that we are willing to work, am I right, Chris? Oh, sure. For very long hours for what we oh, love. Oh, I love it. I didn't want to go home at the end of the day, but the union rules were saying the uh, union, 14 hours is it. And that's it. But we can keep going. Oh, sure. I can work 24 hours straight without sleeping. You want to bet? <laughs> I can do it, Chris. I can right keep now. going for a whole week <laughs> without stopping. Okay, in the control room, Jabari, my boy, uh, can we have can we have a, uh, the trailer? Can we see the trailer? Just let me know when you're ready, because I am ready. I was born ready. Okay, so let's see. If we get we get to see from the trailer. producer of Quiz Show at Mississippi Burning, Tatum O'Neill, in Sweet Lorraine, Sweet Lorraine. Starring Stephen Bauer, Peter Green, and Academy Award-winning actress Tatum O'Neill. Sweet the Rain. Written and directed by Chris Friere. Academy Award-winning actress Tatum O'Neill is Sweet the Rain. A ghostly film. She is. I want to give one word uh, about Tatum O'Neill.